So here we have a transverse panoramic view of the lower abdomen. You can see here, there's a interception here. There's an interception here. This is about the level of the umbilicus. Here you can see the rectus abdominis muscles right here and the external, internal oblique and transversus abdominis muscle. So these are examples of small bowel wall thickening causing small bowel interceptions. We know they're small bowel interceptions because of the size. They're both about 1.9 centimeters. Location, this one's in the left, this one's in the right. Here you can see the one on the left and transverse and then in sagittal. You can see the interception going on right here. So when you image this section right here in cross section, it looks like that. The target lesion or donut, a bowel within bowel. And ultimately, they both resolved. Here's the left lower quadrant, small bowel interception. And here it is resolved. You can see there's fluid now within the lumen, and there's no bowel within the lumen. There's still some significant thickening of the bowel wall. So as I've said in prior videos, if you ever see in the left lower quadrant, target lesion like that is most likely a small bowel interception. And in the right lower quadrant also, if you see it, if it resolves, it's small bowel interception. Large bowel interceptions are usually about mean diameter of 2.6 centimeters. Here's an example of a iliocolic interception in the right upper quadrant, which is usually where you will find these interceptions and these target-like lesions. Um, and transverse is going to look like a bullseye or a target. You can see the right kidney. Here's the colon wall. This is the ilium wall or the, ili or the ilium bowel a little bit of lymph nodes and mesenteric fat. And the sagittal is going to have the pseudo kidney sign. So, and here's a sagittal view or longitudinal view showing the pseudo kidney sign. Because it kind of looks like a kidney with the hypoechoic cortex and the hyperechoic sinus. So if you suspect small bowel interception due to location or size, give it some time and they should resolve on their own. If they're iliocolic, those don't usually resolve on their own and they require intervention like an air enema.